Most armor sets look sh**. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't care how good the defense of the molten armor in pre hard mode is, it just looks shit. Maybe Relogic thinks the same, cause they made a solution for that. Vanity sets. Some look even more shit, but there are definitely some cool ones you should know about. In this video I will be showing you my top 10 vanity sets and how to obtain them. Of course sets like the solar flare or stardust armor look kinda cool, but you can look even more badass with some of these. We're starting off simple with number 10, the Prince set. The Prince set is a hard mode set which can be bought from the Princess NPC for one platinum, platinum coin for the total set. It consists of the Prince uniform and the Prince pants. And if you want to look even better, you can put the Prince cape in one of your vanity accessory slots. This set can look really good combined with the white horse mount bought from the Zoologist NPC. For the second one, we have the Plumber set. It can be bought from the Clothier for 75 gold coins total during a full moon. The Plumber set is an obvious reference to the Mario games. If you like Mario, Mario this, set, this is the set to go. It doesn't look super special, but it is still a great set to show to your friends. Or to your pet if you don't have any friends. Or to no one if you don't have a pet. Then for number 8, we have the Gretty Tor Tortoise set. Relogic really tried to name it anything but Ninja Turtle set. It resembles the blue Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. It can be obtained from a goodie bag during the Halloween event with a 1 in 19 chance. It typically cannot be obtained during any other time of the year, but when you set your computer uh, date to anything within October 10th and November 1st, you will be able to obtain it. Since it's just a vanity set, this isn't considered cheating, right? Right. Then on number 7, we have another reference to a game which people consider to be alike with their ter Terraria. Of course, it is the Creeper set, which is a Minecraft reference. It can be found the same way as the Karate Tortoise set during Halloween event having a 1 in 19 chance to be obtained from a goodie bag. But of course you can also change your date to obtain the Creeper set. Fun fact, when Minecraft was still from Notch all the way back in 2013, he gave permission for the set to be added. So the set has been around for almost 10 years. For number 6 we have the first craftable set and also the first set added in 1.4. The superhero set can be crafted by uh, by a loom using 20 silk and 3 green threads, uh, threads for every piece. Maybe you've never even heard of silk and the green threads. The silk can be crafted using 7 cobwebs on a loom and the green threads can be crafted using 3 jungle seeds at a loom. If you have the ability to fly you can surely look like a real superhero using this set. And don't worry, your identity will stay secret using the superhero mask. Now we're getting into the top 5, which are all surprisingly sets designed by players. For the number 5, we have the TV head set. It can be crafted using 20 silk and 1 purple dye for the shirts and pants, and the head is crafted using 10 glass and 10 wires. It was made by a player with the name Dr. Suit Suit. It is the only set in a time game which changed based on the biome or what the player is doing. Number 4 we have the Wandering set created by Crowflux. It can be obtained using 20 silk and 3 fi fireflies for the shirts and pants and 10 clay blocks and 3 fireflies for the head. One of the cool things about the set is that the shadow of the head can be seen on the player's face. It makes you look 10 times cooler and more mysterious. And it also has a bonus, because when the full set is worn, you can see fireflies flying around the player. By the way, I spent f***ing 3 nights searching for these fireflies, and eventually I found some. But before that I even managed to find the fireflies, I found a prismatic lace wing. I don't know what's wrong with my world. Now for the top 3. On number 3, we got the Timeless Traveler set, created by Discardo. With this set, you look like a total f***ing villain. It can be crafted using 20 silk, 10 rotten chunks and 1 black dye for the shirts and pants and 10 silk and 10 bones for the head. It almost looks like you, you are the end boss of the game instead of Moon Lord uh, when you're wearing the set. And as a cool bonus, when wearing the complete set you got blue flames dancing around you. Then on number 2 we have the Capricorn set created by RMK. With this set you look more like a good creature helping to save the world. The shirt and bottom piece can be crafted using 20 silk, 5 fallen stars and 1 silver die. And the helmet can be made using 15 coral and 5 fallen stars. And it is actually interactable, because when right clicking the leg piece, it will change into normal legs instead of a tail. And then for the best of the 
best vanity sets in the entire game we have the Plague Blingers set by Soda Hunter. It is a crimson version of the Timeless Traveler set and can be crafted the same way. But instead of using rotten chunks, you use vertebra. The set looks absolutely amazing and just like the Timeless Traveler, fing badass. You should consider getting it if you want to scare your friends the crap out of or just want to fing flex on them. Now you won't have to worry about all your friends laughing at you with your stupid molten armor. I hope you enjoyed and found a set you like. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Bye!